Let this film be a lesson to all of you out there to learn the value of the word no. Just say no. Homewrecker is a brand new, well, let's see, comedy, thriller, horror. Like, I'm gonna go thriller, comedy, with some horror elements. And, uh, and that is mostly in the later half of the, of the film. Now, this stars Precious Chong, who is Tommy Chong's daughter. Looks nothing like him. I was shocked to find out that was his daughter when I was watching, or when I was looking through the credits for this. Alex Esso, who's just been popping up in every damn thing I've been watching lately, which is a good thing. She's in Dr. Sleep. She's in The Haunting of Bly Manor. And she was also in um, that, oh, what was that movie called? The Death of Me. Um, and so uh, Alex Esso is at a class and she gets out of that class where you know she had met this woman played by Precious Chong and uh, they encounter each other in a uh, coffee shop and Precious kind of strong arms her into coming over to her house to look at it to be you know to interior design it because she finds out she's an interior designer so she just like keeps pressuring her keeps pressuring her and of course Alex Esso has no desire to hang out with this woman no desire to talk to this woman <clears throat> but of course she's just one of those really nice people that just seems to not be able to say no and can be strong armed into things I am not like this at all. You can't get me to do shit I don't want to do. Um, but anyway, uh, she comes over. And of course, Precious Chong is a little on the kooky side and doesn't want her to leave and will stop at nothing to keep her new friend there. Um, so overall, I did like this. I think where people might have a disconnect is they might not buy certain moments of the film. Like, oh, you know, why are they doing this? Why is this happening? Why isn't she just trying to leave heart? There's people like this. You know, there's people like Alex Essos. I've met them. I know them. Where you talk to them and they're like, I don't really want to be there and I don't really want to do this. And this. But I've been, you know, I was kind of pressured into it. Don't let people pressure you. You don't want to do something, don't do it. Be very firm. People like that rarely get taken advantage of. People who are very firm with how they feel and are like, absolutely not. Those people rarely are the ones that get taken advantage of. But there's that fine line, right? You have to walk that fine line between being firm and adamant of, of your boundaries, but also find that, you know, that middle ground, that balance of like, I don't want to come off as a dick either. And I get that. It's, it is a hard balance. But now when you don't want to do, go to somebody's house, when you want to drink a drink that they've made you, when you don't want to stay any longer, when, just leave, man. Just go. Especially with this kind of scenario where you don't even know this damn person. But, you know, I took it for what it was. When it was happening, I just kind of accepted everything that was happening. And because... It does kind of play on the comedic side of things. I was willing to let things go that I might not have had they tried to play the film straight. But I feel that the film has a quirky enough tone to it that I'm not supposed to take every single thing seriously. It's like those situations where they're very over the top and characters are reacting in certain ways that in real life wouldn't work. But because there's a comedic element to it, I'm able to forgive that and just go along with it. And I think that the performances here are great. I think Alex Esso is always great. Um, you know, all the way from Starry Eyes, where I uh, originally saw her, that was, I think, my first interaction with her. If it isn't, it's the first one I remember. Um, all the way up to her playing, um, you know, uh, Dana. Um, What's her fucking name? Um, 
Danny Torrance's mom. Why can't I think of her name right now? Wendy. Jesus Christ. I was like pulling a blank there. Wendy Torrance in Dr. Sleep. That's a fantastic fucking performance there. She emulates um, Shelley Duvall's uh, performance to a T, man. It was incredible. So she's got some serious range to her. Uh, I always like her in everything I see. And so they're, they're both really solid in this. I definitely wanted to grab Alex Esso's character in this movie and be like, fucking stand up for yourself, you know. But as it goes on, you know, it, it, it becomes kind of an impossible situation. Um, but yeah, the, the lunatic that Precious Chong is in this movie, I think she plays it super well. And kind of the reveals and stuff that happen throughout one of them actually really like kind of got me and I was like, oh shit, I, I wasn't expecting that at all, uh, which I really liked. And the ending does go pretty dark and there's some, you know, gore and I was a big fan of that. So um, overall, I did have a good time. This is streaming on Amazon Prime. Uh, it's only about an hour and 15 minutes long, so it's super short. Um, but yeah, it's just kind of a two character movie a really crazy aging uh, woman who has lost her, her, who has lost her like popularity in her youth. You know, she's one of those people who she had it all at one point, and she never developed anything else. She never developed a personality. She never, and now that her looks are fading, and now that people aren't paying attention to her anymore, she's pissed off about it. And I kind of feel bad for people like that, people who were given everything because they were pretty at a young age and they think like oh well I can just get anything I want why should I bother developing you know intelligence or personality or anything and then they're kind of left with nothing once the well dry, dries up so to speak or at least you know that attention seeking goes away because you know they're not that uh, lustrous uh, looking thing in, anymore and, and they don't have anything else to offer um, so I think she plays this very well. She has a fucking lunatic's gaze in this movie. Her eyes are crazy. You never doubt for one second in this movie that she is an absolute lunatic. And I like that. I think her performance is excellent for what's asked for her here. And Alex Esso is Alex Esso. I mean, she plays this very, very good. Um, you know, but I, I can't complain about the realistic aspects of people who are like, pure pressured into things they don't want to do it frustrates me but i can't you know avoid i can't avoid the fact that those people do exist so i did dig it i did enjoy it um i did actually laugh a few times the comedy did uh, kind of and and the comedy isn't uh slapsticky at all um it, there were a few moments where i did laugh so anyway if you check this out amazon prime hour and 15 not not a not a big commitment or anything, but uh, let me know.